everyone. We're the Austin Marcel Group. I'm Mark. I play the drums. Uh, Marco, I play bass. I'm Austin. I play the trumpet. I'm Zach. I play guitar. I'm Josh. I also play guitar. So, Zach, uh, tell me a little bit how you wrote your first song, Something With Eggs. Um, so, yeah, approaching a, an instrumental song for this band was, like, something new for me. I usually write, like, pop, singer-songwriter stuff. Um, so I kind of just started with uh, a melody, and I uh, added chords to it. Um, I did this all, you know, on my laptop with the guitar, and um, then I brought it to you guys on sheet music, and we worked out the arrangement kind of all together. Um, like, when I, when I brought it in to you guys, it definitely shifted from what I had at first to what it eventually became. Yeah, like I think we added that thing in the beginning with the drum. Yeah, the drum intro yeah. and the solo section uh, <laughs> turned into a blues, and this was all like new stuff to the right. arrangement. Oh, um, and also we also uh, added those new like feels between the solos, which right? Yeah, kind of you know changed the a little whole bit of a arc. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, the title of the song "Something with Eggs" came from me not knowing how to name an instrumental piece, and I was like, "Oh, Josh, what should I name my song?" And he goes. Something with eggs. And so I put an egg emoji for the title of the song, and that was it. It's very philosophical. It was. Thank you. It's a political statement, really. Um, I have a question. Uh, do you find it challenging to engage uh, people our age, younger, younger uh, people, in, in jazz? Uh, do we have a problem with that? Yeah, absolutely. Like, yeah, <laughs> jazz is uh, very not misunderstood, but like has a negative connotation sometimes because people don't understand it. But like, I feel like when we incorporate like funk and rock into our music, people can relate better because they're more familiar with that kind of music. Yeah, I mean, to expand upon that, you know, like there was a time where jazz was the music for the youth, but that was 50, 60 years ago. So you know, <clears throat> I mean, <clears throat> as Austin said, by Suddenly incorporating um, in a very like postmodern way different types of music, funk. Um, I know for me personally on drums, maybe I'll try to add like a slight hip hop feel or something, or a soulful feel, anything to give it a new flavor, but without being you know um, overt or even cynical about it. Um, I think we find a way to engage an audience. We we have so far, I think. I hope somewhat, yeah. The whole arc of the band was an evolution too, because we started off oh, just yeah. reading real book tunes oh, and playing yeah. standards. Yeah, we were playing Autumn Leaves. Yeah, you know? <laughs> and uh, slowly evolved into stuff that we enjoyed playing, and we thought that our audience was receiving a little better as well. Yeah, yeah. I definitely picked our song choices based off of like how, like I would ask my friends how we would, uh, you know, how they sounded, how we sounded to them. So that feedback kind of helped us with where we were going. Yeah. Well, Zach, I think we should tell people about our next gig. Um, okay, yeah, so we're playing the Les Paul show that's going to be in the Sharp Theater on uh, February 27th. It's going to be uh, the Nikki Parrott Trio and Dave Stryker. Oh, wow, big and, names. Um, yeah, we're going to have the opportunity to open up for them, and uh, it's going to be at 7.30, uh, again, in the Sharp, right here in the Barry Center. Nice. Mm. Cool, cool. Uh, Josh. Uh, what was the uh, songwriting process for the song we're about to play, uh, I'm Afraid of Rainbows? Well, I, I wish I could tell you something in incredible or <laughs> risque, but it it's, it it's not really a hard thing to do. So. Okay. <laughs> anyone can do it. I can't do anyone, it. <laughs> anyone, can, well, anyone can write a song. Right. It's very, very, very easy. Do you demonstrate? Well, <laughs> anyway, jo like Josh brought in the chord progression to a uh, practice where it was just uh, the three of us, and me and Austin kind of worked with him to come up with the melody that, right. that goes with it. And yeah. then, again, as a group, we expanded upon the arrangement at mm -hmm. the B and C section. Exactly. And, the C uh, section is like Jaco Pistorius, actually. It's oh, yeah. Orchard of Tracy. That's what it is. Well, but in all seriousness, it, it was, it, I, I think I wrote the chord progression sophomore year. Just late one night hmm. and I, I just held on to it kept it brought it to you guys and you guys were great help uh, helping write a melody to it really adding yeah. a form so I think it, I think it yeah. ended up pretty nice yeah I love cool. the way it turned out yeah I, and I, I hum it all the time yeah, yeah I look forward to making more originals so <laughs>